Welcome back to The Mat. I'm Caitlin, the creator of the Spring to Life Method and also a holistic hormone health coach, fertility awareness educator, and Pilates instructor. And we are here today to do a strength and flow featuring some light hand weights. This is going to be a focus on arms and abs, great for follicular, ovulatory, or luteal phases. I have three pound hand weights. I would not go any heavier than threes, ones, twos, threes are good, but even use wrist weights if that feels better for you or if that's what you have handy. I want you to be mindful of what you're feeling in your neck and your shoulders here. We want to really be working from our powerhouse. So if you start to feel like you're pulling the tension up high in your neck and shoulders, take a second, drop your shoulders down, maybe set the weights down and just move with your breath until you can find that connection. Take breaks as you need to. And this is going to be a quick little burner for us. So we're going to start cross-legged on the mat, really anchoring the sitting bones, feeling the belly button traveling towards the spine with every exhale. You could also sit up against the wall here, or just imagine the feeling of patting your back up against the wall here to keep that nice, tall, lifted posture. And then we're going to grab our weights, tuck the elbows into the waist, make sure we're not drawing the elbows back behind the body here. That's not what we're going for today. I want you to think of home base as being your elbows tucked into the waist. Palms start up and start with an inhale breath. As you exhale, belly button the spine, serve the platter, extend the arms forward. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, reach forward. Just three more of these. Two. Now keep the arms lifted, elbows up in line with the shoulders. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhale, extend. Four. Three. Two. One. Extend the arms. Turn the palms. Now one arm up by the ear, one arm down just to gently tap the knee. Scissor and change. Keeping those shoulders down away from the ears, so you don't want to lift the arm by going from here. You want to almost bear down through the hips to lift that arm up. One more each side. Bring the arms down, roll your shoulders out. Now from here, we're going to bring our knuckles together, lift the elbows, and then extend the arms away. Like you've got a big beach ball in front of you. Inhale, open. Exhale, up. Four. Three. Two. One. Turn the palms. Lift overhead. Inhale, bend the elbows. Tap the crown of your head. Extend up. Four. Three. Two. One, bring the arms down, set your waist down for a moment, roll those shoulders out, and then we're going to turn on our mat, bring the heels together, in Pilates, be here, careful the knees don't totally splay open, you want to keep the heels together, pressing them in so you can feel those inner thighs working, take one weight, hold it end to end, bring that up and overhead, see if you can Lift up a little bit taller. Maybe you walk up on top of your sitting bones a little bit here. Breathe in. As you exhale, belly scoops back. That weight comes down. Let's just find the tops of the knees. See if you can scoop your belly back a little bit more. And then roll back up on top of the hips. With the exhale. Back. Inhale up. Exhale back, we're squeezing those heels together. Inhale up, two more. And up, bring the soles of the feet together. Hinge forward here, give your hips a little stretch. Hold the weight, lift back up. Taking it a little bit deeper in that curl. Exhale, hips roll under. You find the knees. You travel a little further back with your bottom rib. 
Reverse your pattern, come right back up. Exhale, roll down. Raising the thighs, brings you back up. Three more. Curling your tail under, use those inner thighs pulling together to help you work through your back. Last one here. Hold it back. Now lift that weight to cover. Take it to the right. Center. Left. Center. You can bring your feet in a little closer because that's more comfortable. Just twisting the upper body. For three. Two. One. One. Roll. All the way back. Now reach for your other weight. Bring your feet in a little closer. Let's go parallel with our feet just about equal distance. Bend the elbows. So again, they're at that home base, tucked into your waist. Knuckles towards the ceiling. We're going to bridge our hips here. With your exhale, squeeze the glutes, curl the hips up. And at the same time, extend the arms up towards the ceiling. Press through your feet, squeeze your glutes. Exhale. Melt it down. Bring the elbows back to the waist. Push through the feet. Roll it up. Melt back down. Here for three. Two. Now stay up in that bridge. Push down through your feet. You're resting between your shoulder blades. Open the right arm out to the side. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, don't let those hips droop. Right. Left. Right. Left. Two more each side. Try not to let the hips wobble. Just that arm moves. Last one right. Last one left. Big breath in. Exhale. Roll it down. Go ahead and bring the arms down. Take the feet a little wider, let your knees rock side to side. And then again, drop the weights. Grab the back of the thighs. Rock right up. Roll your shoulders out a few times. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach up, look up. Bring the palms together. Down in front of your heart center. Doing that quick little burns and buzz in your muscles. That fresh, oxygenated blood flowing through your veins. Take a moment of gratitude for spending these minutes with your body today. And I'll see you on the mat next time.